All right. So for this one, same idea, same idea. But um, once again, for guys that were not here yesterday, just kind of follow along. So we're going to create a three-way table. There's three variables we're dealing with here, X, T, and Y. So we're going to use our three variables. Hmm? Yeah, four. Yeah, we did three yesterday. So we're going to do four real quick. Um, and so my thought process on here is real simple. You start with T, then we do X, and then we do Y. All right, so that's how you would start. Now, since we're dealing with some trig functions, we have to actually come up with values for T. So what are probably some good values for T since they're trig function? T. What are some values for T for trig functions? Zero. Yes. 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 All right. He's basically going 90 degrees around the unit circle. Gives you some nice round numbers here. This is gonna be weird looking. All right. I actually think it's gonna be a hyperbola. That's my guess, but let's see. I mean, I guess we don't technically need that last one. Technically, it is the same as zero, as you pointed out. Now, here's my thought process on this though, guys. I agree this would be good, but the problem is we're dealing with tangent and secant. And since both of these can be undefined in various places, um, and since tangent's arc is only from zero to pi, do y'all remember that? It's all, the arc is only from zero to pi. I think we should break this up. In other words, I think instead of using these, let's use pi over four, let's use pi over two, three pi over four and pi. And the only reason I'm doing that is if you'll remember that the way tangent works is it ends at, uh, uh, it goes after, a, uh, it only goes ugh, a full cycle after every pi values. So every 180 degrees, it does a full rotation. Does that kind of make sense? So that's the only reason. But if it was sine and cosine, yes, do zero pi over two pi, three pi over two so on. All right, so we're going to plug this into our calculator and I'm not going to do it in my head this time. I'm literally going to just take my calculator and change uh, values for us here. It actually probably make things a little bit easier. And so I'm going to use my favorite calculator here. And of course, use your own to check and make sure that you understand. But let's plug in some values. This over here. Go. And bring this down. This. All right, so we've got two secant of zero. So we've got two. I'm just going to go ahead and plug all those in so I don't have to kind of like go back and forth. We got zero pi over four. Ooh. Pi over four, uh, pi over two, pi, uh, three pi over four, and let's see, pi, right? 
I'll give it to you. All right. So I'm going to plug those in or put those values in. Y'all getting the same numbers I'm getting? 2.8 2 undefined, uh, negative 2.8, and negative 2. And just for good measure, I'm going to check 5.4 just to make sure that it is a full rotation or 5.5 five over 4. Make sure I'm not getting anything weird. So, yeah, I'm good. Y'all getting the same thing I'm getting? No? Yes? Okay. All right. Uh, and then we're going to do four tangent of T. So we're going to use the same value. So I'm going to do, let's see. So make this tangent. And four tangent. So four tangent of zero, zero. It's y over x. Four tangent of zero should be. Okay. Y over X. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Interesting. All right, we do this. And we do that. And we do this. And we do that. I wonder if should I should I have gone further with uh, with secant? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's let's graph what we've got and then we'll make a determination on that. So we got uh, oh, I just want pi. I was like, why is this the same thing? All right, cool. So we got zero. Negative four, undefined, uh, four, and zero. Okay. So now that we've done all of our calculating, I'm going to put that back over there. Now that we've done all of our calculating, let's put this in here. So we've got two zero, all right, and then 2.84. So kind of uh, here ish. Thank you. And then we've got undefined, undefined. Then we've got negative 2.8 negative four, which is down here. Negative two, zero. Yeah, I actually think we need more points. So let's let's add some. Let's do, um, let's see, let's do five pi over four. Let's do five pi over four. Let's do, um, uh, three pi over two, let's do seven pi over four, and then let's do um, two pi. So I'm adding three points. The good thing about the tangent side is the tangent side will just repeat after pi. So we can kind of guess where that's gonna be at. So five pi over four should be four. Undef you should have undefined again, then negative four, then zero. Um, and then our secant we found was this should be a negative 2.8, I think, then undefined again. And then this should be 2.8. And then it should be two. All right. And so if we put all that together, you get five, uh, negative 2.8, uh, four, 
which gives you this value here. And you get an extra value of 2.8 negative four, which is this value right here. So therefore, oops, right here. So therefore, what shape do you guys think that this is probably gonna be? A hyperbola, exactly. Which is exactly what I was kind of expecting. And I won't count off if you don't do the time step stamps. Some teachers do, but I don't really care. Uh, oops. Like that, and then like that. Questions? So just, you know, plug in more points if you feel like you need them. In this particular case, I felt like we needed them because I could see where it was heading, but I just wanted to make sure it was ever, you know, we had everything. All right. Um, so once again, you all have the papers in front of you. I'll print off some more for those of you who are not here yesterday, but the answer keys are on Google Classroom. You can check and make sure that you're getting the right answers and all that good stuff. Um quick last word and i am going to post this video but quick last word on this section because we got a test coming up on tuesday uh wednesday for you guys um basically what i need you all to do is for um your test reviews in two parts the first one is a quiz that i should have given you but i didn't um at this point i'm just trying to end the semester so we're not going to take a day to do a quiz but here's the actual quiz. I can print those off for you Monday, have those for you Monday, you can practice on them. Um, and then I posted my answer key to that quiz. So that's the first part. That's the main part, okay? But this didn't have anything on parametrics on it. So I added this other section on parametrics, just so you could get a feel for some questions I might ask. And I put an answer key to that as well. However, what you'll note is that it says for parametric part, only do problems one through 12. All right, you don't have to do the word problems at the bottom, just the, the first 12, whatever. Any questions on that? All right, I'll print off the rest of the stuff for you guys and uh, y'all can work or not, I guess, for the rest of the period. We only got about five minutes, so.